Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll go over the RMS operations on the Space Shuttle Mission 2007. We're looking at the Space Shuttle Discovery already in orbit for STS-121. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basic RMS power-up and basic RMS operations through the OBSS capture. I've chosen the OBSS capture because it's a relatively common one. We do it twice in every mission uh, since the STS-107, the loss of the STS-107. Uh, so let's begin. First on our agenda is powering up the RS RMS. So let's start. First we need to go into the aft panel. On the right side you should see the entire panel that controls the RMS operations. First we will power on the RMS arm, select the port RMS and deploy it. I'll time skip a bit. Next, next up is the release. So we turn on the release, wait for the latches to go off, and then proceed with the shoulder brace release. Now that we're done with that, it's time to move to the aft CRT display. We switch its mode to SM and select the Spec 94 display. This display uh, allows us to control RMS operations, though uh, at the current stage of the simulator it's still not deployed uh, fully, so we won't be using it at all, actually. Back to the aft panel. We turn the brakes off, select the mode to single. Uh, and press the this enter key, not the keyboard enter key. Now that the arm is in single mode, we can move it out of its reach limit state, which doesn't help us very much because we can't move the arm in any other mode other than single. To do that, as stated in the comms, we need to get the shoulder pitch to 3 degrees and the elbow pitch to minus 3 degrees. How do you know what angle we are? We switch this mode into single and joint angle and this one first into shoulder pitch. I like to start with shoulder pitch because we need to raise the arm before we lower the elbow. Makes sense. So we hit the plus key and look at the this window, the X pitch as it's changing upwards and shows us the amount the degrees of which the joint of selection is deflected. In our case, it's the shoulder, so it can only be uh, changed towards the positive side. It can be changed into the negative side, but only by a bit, and it will cause a reach limit. Uh, we don't need to get to the specific uh, data because at uh, the specific angles, because the game is our entire goal in this stage is just to get the arm out of reach limit. Now the elbow is just the opposite, it only goes into the negative. Now that we got into 3 degrees, let's switch to ORB UNL, which will be our uh, primary mode throughout the mission. Now in order to control the RMS we actually need to turn on the flight control, the aft flight control. So we can turn on the uh, the, the joysticks you see here and here that will allow us to control the RMS itself. So let's turn it on. Now this part is over and now we are required to turn off the uh, arm but let's go through some other stuff I like to do in this stage. First of all I usually turn on the lights. I turn on uh, the RMS spotlight the forward shield on which illuminates most of the car will go bay. Now uh, let's switch views a bit as you can see. And uh, because we're going for a grapple on the left side I'll also turn on the, full, uh, the starboard forward and mid lights. Aft not that relative. Another important thing to do is turn on the RMS camera. Uh, now we can turn it into the monitor. If we don't do that, and we can see it, if we don't do that, turn it off for a second, we'll see nothing, actually. So let's turn that back on. 
Another uh, useful aid is those three cameras. Turn them on as well. We got one on the uh, front of the uh, cargo bay, right under our window, and two others on both sides of the aft portion of the cargo bay. All three cameras can be tilted up and down, pan left and right, and zoomed in and out. So we'll touch that a bit later, though it's not very useful in this particular uh, grapple. So let's just turn off the RMS power, turn on the brakes, and turn on the forward flight control as required from us. I will stop the recording. I will stop the recording now because the mission requires a couple of uh, orbit correction uh, burns. Once we're done with that, I'll go ahead. We'll get back into uh, the grapple itself. Bye bye. Okay, we're done with the two burns, and now let's get to business. We were ordered to turn on the uh, RMS arm, as you see, and grab the OBSS. So let's get started. First we need to turn off our brakes, reselect the primary arm, turn on the flight control. Now we are in control of the arm, but because we want to actually grab something, we need to turn the end uh, factor mode into auto, and now we're ready for the grapple. In the radio message we get, you usually will have a uh, uh, an attitude for the grapple itself to it consist of pitch, yaw, and roll, which will be indicated here. In order to get the indication right, of course, you need to change this knob into attitude and this one into wrist roll. Uh, some missions and some uh, grapples or some tasks will also give you a position, a uh, set of coordinates. Those are again set into the joint. Uh, selector into wrist roll so we actually don't touch that one and we only play with the parameter knob between position and attitude. Let's get start uh, starting uh, with the movement of the arm. We'll talk on the way. Oh, I uh, forgot. In order to get the grapple on we need the crosshair to be turned on. Right now we're using the uh, RMS elbow cam which can also be uh, panned and tilted and and uh, as the uh, bay cameras up can, but we will only mainly use the wrist camera that doesn't move. We just need to turn on the crosshair that will help us align things later on. Uh, right now we don't actually need the uh, screen, so I'll just turn it on and start with the arm uh, 